Welcome back gamers and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again and today I've been thinking to share with you not one but five different videos. And what kind of videos do I have to make? Well, I've been thinking what is the most fun, shall I say, to go ships of all my ships that I own and why and I very much like to share with you um, this literally Odin was a free ship you can build it and I receive it for free I do believe that I paid couple uh, hundreds of um, doubloons but it was the very last stage or, or I you know I pay with two stages I do believe but it was dirt ship around 3000 something doubloons I paid for this ship was she worth the grind my answer is definitely yes and guys um, I will talk about this ship a lot, but even in the near future when the submarines will be arrived This ship will shine this ship has many many tools that some of you guys battleship like USS Massachusetts um, Yamato uh, and many others can only dream about of course I'm talking about hydro and of course I talking about the pretty nasty uh, quarter of H and of course some other goodies but guys you can even build this ship as a secondary it's not the best one but ser seriously you can still have above 18 or 11 uh, kilometers range secondary and of course guys fast rate of fire you do have literally Ager's guns they are not the best to deal with other battleships but seriously versus cruiser and destroyers and any, anything else it's pretty damn good and bro man you don't want to br quite brawl with this one thanks to your uh, hp pool but the whole package the a8 it's not bad the um, hydro it's not bad the torpedo are not bad i would very much like to say that her biggest downside is the low hp pool and shall i say mediocre guns for being um uh, shall i say a battleship on the other hand guys this is one strong extremely strong battleship in right hands and deal very very good versus anything light or cruiser or you know but guys the reason I also show you this, this is actually my to-go ship and I very much like to talk about this captain. We have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain, Senotama. Senotama sent me a mail and he said, Zera, I have a potato uh, laptop and I cannot record a damn thing. I can barely play this game with my potato. Guys, not everyone is a rich country we can afford good graphic cards, good PC, uh, you know, i7 and all that. I'm talking about the processor power and the stupid graphic. I mean, you can purchase for, for crying out loud a graphic, uh, which is not something crazy, but you still have to probably pay around two, three hundred US dollars for a decent one. You probably even not get a, a amazing one you just get a decent one what i'm trying to say guys everyone is different this cap this uh, captain is different not from any rich country he's from a pop you know a country in asia somewhere we we'll just leave it that way so of course guys he really wants his uh, um, replay to showing up and very much i like to say probably guys don't judge him too much He's not a professional. You, I kill everyone and I'm still gonna show you how good badass is. He's trying. I mean, he's trying to play this game, and of course, he already been um, uh, <laughs> target by the CV, and he did not take a lot of damage. Of course, the CV is only the tier six, and there is the enemy. Uh, what's the CV name? Oh, the, the tier six. German in my honestly opinion. I do have that particular ship, but I never played her. I do believe I played her once. I do not know what the strength about the German uh, battleships. They are in my honestly opinion crazy weak. Decent damage, not a whole lot. 940, that's Ibuki, that's fish in the water, and here's the power guys. Hydro, German hydro. Probably once again guys this not this captain does not have 19 points captain he's probably 
you know, does not have premium account and so on. He's just an average Joe player who just wants to have fun. And I very much like to say that he's by far not uh, any, uh, you know, wow, elite uh, super unicorn player. But I still like to show you this replay because I believe so far he did pretty alright. Nothing to be shamed of. Um, the, uh, the enemy team are controlling Alpha, Bravo and uh, Delta, which is bad. You can already feel the, the losing... The, he's on the losing team, literally, guys. The enemy control three points and they are ahead of points. And he's like a battleship pushing to this Ibuki, probably overextended. There is someone else also shooting at me, him. I have no idea who. Man, he's charging this dude. Okay. I'll definitely change for the H. That's for damn sure if I were, were this captain. We still have 41 sec. Oh, okay, this ebook is even more potato. Alright. Oh, good, good kill there. Good, good kill. I mean, seriously. If you are a uh, Fubuki, I understand he's your only tier 6. But don't charge a German battleship. My, he might actually have uh, something it calls Hydro, which can spot you in your own smoke and your torpedo are kind of uh, useless because he will see a mile away. And by the way, even though the, it's not the best uh, brawler, but he has some kind of a decent uh, secondary. Okay, this is bad. He might actually eat two torpedoes, maybe one. Yeah, definitely one, unfortunately. Okay, he took the, the, the rudder and he, uh, you know, um, yeah, he tried to cap, you know, because capping, it's something that this team never done. I can also see that Nagato is definitely not a um, good player. I'm just saying that he's engaging the other friend. What I'm saying that for me, I always, it's a suspicion when I'm facing a friendly or an enemy uh, battleship or any ship with no camo whatsoever. You should always try to have even those free uh, dispersion uh, camos. I'm talking about gives you incoming shells minus 3%. It's that it's better than and nothing. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. But not having... Okay, he's, he's brawling with three. Okay, I do honestly believe this uh, Nagato play is definitely a, a potato player. Yeah, he will eat all the torpedo. He will die here for them. He eat all four of them. And of course the Kansas is showing you a lot of side. Let's see, the aim is not bad, my friend. The aim is good. It's actually aiming right spot, uh, not on the water line. Because, uh, okay, Atago <laughs> is trying to torpedo the friendly uh, Leon. He managed to actually kill him. Very well to know your position. Who's the biggest enemy in their support? The Atago. Well played over there, sir. There you. Uh, yes, this should be a kill. Of course, the Citadel and killed him. And the Kansas. Okay, he has only 495 uh, HP pool left. He can die any second. Kansas, only he needs to do one torpedo or secondary from Kansas. Oh man, the Kansas, he did not manage to kiss in this captain. Oh my lord. I don't, I believe that this is what GG with only 400 HP pool left. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Okay. Uh, so, what a close one. Oh man, I did like it. This replay is awesome. Absolutely ridiculous. And guys, 110,000 damage, one torpedo hit, uh, six planes down, and uh, 129 secondary hits. Once again, guys, probably it's the not the best uh, secondary monster. But guys, this is a premium ship. I do like to play with my Bismarck, Calper, cap, Captain, 19 points Captain, uh, Bismarck, secondary build, of course. Uh, once again, it's not Turpitz, it's not uh, Bismarck, um, but I still believe it's better than, than nothing. And um, bow on your pre-damn tanky, your armor, it's fantastic. 
the best thing about this ship it's definitely fast reload time yes you kind of a struggle to do a huge amount of damage versus battleship but versus cruiser you're pretty pretty strong um Hatsuharu, I don't know what the hell he was doing. He's actually playing extremely poor this friendly Hatsuharu. He should definitely, he has one of the best concealment in this game at this tier and so on. He should definitely try to cap. If you as a destroyer, you're not capping, especially when there's no ship around. Man, you're doing something terrible wrong because the, the, the team might lose it ASAP. He's targeting his Farragut, he's behind his island. Let's see if we can hit him. Okay, no problem. Minsk kill him. Minsk it's a crazy strong gunboat. Even at this tier, guys, the um, Soviet destroyer like Minsk. Oh yeah, only has 158 HP left. <laughs> Colorado, it's 10.4. Uh, staying bow on and really good angle versus almost all ships. You are pretty damn tanky, pretty uh, strong. There is a champagne, a pretty healthy champagne at 18.7. He decided to not open fire. I have no idea why. Something also, even though your your caliber are kind of a small and you should definitely consider uh, using as much as you can. The AP, I still believe that sometimes those small caliber guns, that you do have to unfortunately use the HE sometimes. Uh, but not all, uh, all the time. Uh, see the incoming shells from the Colorado did zero damage. Incoming fire. And that was <laughs> pretty hilarious. Maybe the Colorado's aim is kind of a uh, crap. Very li I do like it. I do like it. 9027. A little bit bad RNG that he could not uh, uh, sit down this. Yeah, one over pen and that torpedo did the short work Hatsuharu's torpedo. So, guys, uh, remember that he almost had 500 something HP pool and he put him the heal up. That's good because champagne most likely it will uh, HP spam him. And the enemy team are still, uh, it's uh, the head on points, the enemy team. And very much would like to say that they can still win it. He's literally right now uh, against the CV and Champagne also maybe. He's, yes, the Champagne is engaging him. Still received 3,900 damage even though it was perfect. But on what kind of uh, AP performance does Champagne have? Let's see a return fire, see what's going on over here. Uh, 8,100 uh, something damage. It's very good angle versus a Champagne. Champagne secondary open up. And he got lucky with one fire. He's not alone, maybe I'm there is a destroyer nearby. I do like the reload time. I do like his position and the angling versus Champagne. And what do you know over there? That's the Sweet Citadel and Champagne It's not a brawler. He, he, you should always win against the champagne. That thing has no armor whatsoever, but it's not a quite alone. Uh, Queen Elizabeth could be actually the biggest target and dangerous. Okay, the secondary chewed the champagne up. Good salve over here. I do like it. I do like it. 8,084 damage that I also like. Um, um, Queen Elizabeth decided to shoot at someone else. And unfortunately, guys, Queen Elizabeth killed the Miyoko. He was friendly behind him was uh, the, the cruiser Miyoko. Very unfortunate that Salvo finished the friendly Miyoko. And now they are huge damn point. I'm talking about uh, 541 uh, score versus 716. 3600 damage he received this captain and he's engaged by Vasivi at the same time. Over there it will be a bounce you have to aim a little bit higher okay oh man he caused flooding oh that is not good uh, let's see what's going on over here maybe the destroyer might finish the queen Elizabeth and he did uh, yeah those torpedo would would kill him but the other hand if 
uh, Queen Elizabeth had a great good salvo. There will be GG for this uh, captain, which really, really kicked ass. I honestly believe he pulled really. I mean, seriously, he is not a pro. He's an average Joe, but definitely see. Okay, he does have secondary build at 11.3. His secondary open up. Okay, that was very good, very good, very good. Maybe he does have a Bismarck captain. I have no idea, guys. But seriously, I do kind of feel sorry for these captains playing in a bad potato uh, laptop. He barely can see anything. And of course, his uh, processor power and graphic power, it's a mediocre as best. But on, on the other hand, I still like uh, the way I see it. Um, uh, very much like to say to this captain who he will play extremely good as far, but he's still under <laughs> points. The enemy team are still winning and he's going for the second or the third cap. Absolutely ridiculous. And Hatsuharu was following him uh, at the rear. I don't know how about that, man. If you as a destroyer are behind in your battleship and let them cap first, you're doing something wrong. Probably I would like to say to that Hatsuharu captain that to play another type of ships because he kind of a suck big time in playing the destroy. I'm a destroyer man, I know exactly what I'm talking. When me as a destroyer do, does not do my job and let my battleship cap, that I do something wrong. Probably I have to think twice if I want to play that particular ship or probably you have to play another type of uh, vessel. Yes, try that Hatsuharu, take some uh, another type of vessel because uh, I understand there's a CV, but this German CV uh, versus it, Serious. Even Hatsuharu has zero AA or no A whatsoever. The AP rockets cannot kill uh, Hatsuharu. He has to strike him like crazy. I have no idea how to explain. It's the most unlethal, the most undangerous CV in the entire game. If you are Hatsuharu and there's an enemy Wesser, absolutely useless and no good uh, pile of crap. A CV versus a destroyer, or oh, uh, especially Hatsuharu, it's an agile, it turns on a dime, you know. Uh, the battleship is different away, he can be sunk by the CV, don't get me wrong. But Hatsuharu, guys, seriously, he has upper hand. But of some very strange reason, I sorry if I have to mention once again, if you are a destroyer main and you are capping behind your battleship, you are doing something wrong. I do understand that even though probably this the CV it's not the most important or the dangerous one he, uh, and uh, he can be spotted but now it's only Asashio and uh, he's not quite alone he should never fear this enemy CV. So yeah I do like the open fire. Okay, the secondary probably, yeah, that one torpedo hit will never hit the Hatsuharu. Okay, now he's a very low HP, he has no more heal, so that it's the last one. But man, what a uh, recover. And yes, I, I very much like to say he did his job and torpedo the um, enemy uh, aircraft carrier. But uh, seriously, this German uh, aircraft carrier, it's absolutely the best thing if you are a destroyer. You do not have to fear it. If you have the smoke, torpedo and pretty damn good guns. And oh yeah, he did the short work of this uh, aircraft carrier. That was a good. Minsk here is <laughs> 158. Now that play played good. Seriously. Uh, yes, the enemy destroyer is at B. And I understand that Minsk does not want to fight him because, let's face it, the Minsk have worse uh, concealment of all tier 7 destroy. Really crappy one. Uh, so he can literally in one single shell die. Uh, so this was actually so close. So if the Minsk will go to B and be spotted and be sunk, probably, uh, seriously, the Asasha would have a huge damn chance to win this battle. But it's only 11 seconds left guys and this awesome captain did amazing. Kraken unleashed, one torpedo hit, two citadels and 45 planes down, seven um, 
fires of which only with secondary was those fires he never fired once with he so very good play thank you very much sono tama for this awesome replay let me know in a comment below which are your uh, to go ship do you think that odin it's a good a great battleship in my own sleeping i do honestly yes she has the weakness but it's a lot of fun playing this ship especially when you're top dog so guys thanks guys for watching and always captains fierces and goodbye